Welcome to the Kubli Arts and Earth Center in Ipswich, Massachusetts. My name is Barbara Smith and I'm an occupational therapist. Today I will be talking to you about sensory activities that you can do with ch preschool children who have Down syndrome. Sensory activities are a great way to develop sensory motor skills as children manipulate sand and paint and put things together um, and um, form lines and circles and shapes in finger paint or whipped cream or shaving cream, those types of activities. These activities develop skills to use their hands together, manipulate objects, and learn different concepts such as size and color and weight and texture. Now children who have Down syndrome may have challenges. They may have cognitive and language delays. They may um, have coordination challenges, and they may avoid touching certain textures. They may not want to put their hands in the sand or in finger paint. So let's take a look at some ways to help these children, engage these children in sensory activities. First of all, let's play the child's favorite music during that sensory activity just to make the activity extra fun. Let's begin with a sensory activity or any activity that the child is already familiar with and can do successfully and will enjoy and then gradually introduce some materials that are a little bit more challenging for that child. Try to provide a duplicate set of materials so that you can demonstrate how the materials are used, such as sand in a container. And you could show the child how to scoop or put the sand inside um, bottles and then empty the bottles and so on. So let's take a look at my sensory, a sensory activity that I made by putting dry pasta and lentils and different dry materials inside this bin. And I hid different shapes and actually hid um, an electric, Thomas the Train electric toothbrush which I know uh, children are very motivated to use, most children really enjoy, but we can encourage the child to feel inside, dig inside, remove the different shapes or letters. We can teach concepts as they remove the letters. Here we have the different shapes and this form board which music. makes funny sounds and has bright lights, but it's a great way to provide this sensory stimulation teaching children how to fit shapes together. Now, children who don't like to touch paint and gooey materials or mud or sand may be more willing to first experiment with squeezing a bag that's filled with gel. This is actually, um, you can use shaving gel. This is actually gel that is sold to put on your sunburn and it feels really good. So this is a nice way to introduce squeezing messy play material without actually having to get the hands all messy, which a child with tactile sensitivities may not want to do. So my name is Barbara Smith. I'm the Recycling Occupational Therapist and I hope that you have enjoyed some of these activities today.